find interesting about you is the fact that you know you have you, you can find gratitude in all this how is that possible um, I believe uh, like I said previously acceptance in this life no matter how bad you fall or how good you stand the moment you accept that things are you never go wrong. You never go wrong. You always, always try to find what is good and what is best left in you. So, what did you find is was left in you that was good or best? Or uh, my mindset, positive mind. I'm, I'm always very optimistic. You <laughs> have goals. Okay. And, uh, The other, I try. I try to push whatever I'm, I'm determined to do, mm -hmm. and I guess that propels me. I challenge myself. Like after this long, I should be doing this. Okay. Yeah. So when I have a target and I know uh, this is where I'm headed, I guess that gives me strength. So but we live, uh, you only seek for wins if you have a direction. Yeah. If you don't have a direction, you never want any win. Where will you push you to? Yeah. So I think. I think just willpower, okay. positive minded, okay. that is all about me. A lot of soldiers that I've met struggle with resentment and anger, which literally cripples them and leads them to, you know, abuse and misuse alcohol, heroin, marijuana, smoke endlessly. How, how have you dealt with that resentment and the anger, which is clearly something you've felt and gone through? Funny enough, most most military men are believed to be alcoholic. Mm -hmm. Most of them drink, most of them smoke. Yeah. Personally, I chose not to. As in, you've never done it all your life, or you stopped when not you joined the military? Not that I cannot drink. Have you ever? But it, yeah, I've tried. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've tried. I wouldn't say I cannot tell you the taste of wine, right? I see. I can tell you the taste of whiskey. I can tell you the taste of wine, but it is a choice. So you decide. So you were drinking, then you decided to stop. Not really. Mm -hmm. I I said I can drink, but I. So didn't. you tasted. I tasted. I, I was mean, that no when one was, no one was putting me off the drinks or on. It drink. was a choice. Okay. It was a choice. And it was a choice made based on what grounds? Um, I used to be very sporty right from the word go. Okay. And uh, you find that I'm so engaged. Most of the weekends when I should be drinking, I'm doing sports. Mm -hmm. Most of the time that I should go hang out with my friends, I'm in the pitch training. So I found that smoking, drinking is not compatible. They are not compatible. Yeah, it's not compatible. So you didn't so like... I found myself, I'm just comfortable. But you were in SF. You guys used to be deployed in Somalia for like six, eight months. Where are you going to go and do your sporty things? Half of the time you're carrying things heavier than your weight. Yeah, I believe that was physical enough to call it sport because people do hike. <laughs> I love it. Hiking so it was a hiking to you? Yeah, to me, to me, military was not just a job. Right. It was a passion. I loved it. I tried it four times. Yeah. The fifth time is when I got it. 25 right. years yeah. and a few months. I was just about to get 26. Which was the cutoff. Which was the cutoff. So you really wanted to I enlist. really badly wanted. It. Yeah. And that is why I guess yes. back in college I became the very best of the best. Out of right. 2000 500. Right. Because this is something you had wanted and now that this you had is, it? Yes. Yeah. And that's me. When I want something, I go for it. You must I want it, I let it go. So again, how were you able to move past the anger and the resentment? I guess it's because I, I had prepared myself. I had prepared myself. I had prepared myself that I want to quit. And that was after capturing Kismayo. Because I thought that was my goal. That is what brought me in military. That is why I joined the Kenyan Special Forces. 